Uh, definitely one of my proudest moments as a teacher was uh, seeing uh, one of my students on stage at the Grammy Awards receiving a Grammy uh, this year as uh, a member of Snarky Puppy. But also um, just seeing the students here at the college on a daily basis like create their music and get their music out there. There are many proudest moments as a teacher around here. As far as my most significant challenges, um, I think one is to, to connect the students with the music industry, the reality of the music industry. Um, and that's one thing that I just really like to, to uh, harp on is how, you know, they can do this. And in, you know, the commercial music industry, instead of uh, the traditional method of learning, you know, classical and music theory and all that, we still learn that too, but also it's connected to what they really love, which is making songs and making beats. Um, and then, you know, what I call the three R's and the one S, which is, uh, you know, writing something, recording it and releasing it, and then also submitting it um, to, uh, to something for consideration. Uh, in our case, uh, and one of the ways that I've addressed that here is by creating the, uh, the CVC Grammy Awards, which is where they, they make songs and they uh, record them, and then they have to uh, submit them uh, by a deadline, and then they all vote on each other's music. So as far as unique and, in, uh, unique and innovative uh, methodologies of teaching, well, I have a few. Um, one is just really believing in the students um, and pulling out of them what uh, I believe is inside of them. I have people say, you know, I can't play the keyboard. And I say, well, come be in my keyboard ensemble, and we'll teach you how. And then they end up soloing on the concert, on the keyboard ensemble concert. Uh, and also, really, the uh, teaching about the Grammy process is definitely one of my unique uh, methodologies. Uh, I like to get them focused on the categories and understanding, you know, which categories that they like and what they lean towards, so that they can, you know, try to get a little more focused in their music. Also, I have what I call. Uh, my flavors of jazz that I use for uh, composition, the uh, altered dominant seventh chord, which I call the chocolate chord. It sounds like this. And then also what I call the strawberry chord, which sounds like this. that I try to continue to make a positive impact as a teacher is just by really encouraging and, uh, and not discouraging um, students. I really try to teach um, not necessarily how I was taught, but how I would have liked to have been taught, uh, which means a lot more encouraging and, and not as much discouraging. I think that's really important when it comes to composition because it's so easy um, to discourage composers. For me, as a composer, I really recognize how important it is to try to really foster and encourage anybody that has the slightest compositional spark. But get it out there and silence the voice in your head that, that tries to tell you that your stuff is not worthy of being recorded or, uh, or being released.